All right, we are back here for round one of our OTJ zombie mega draft here. Artisan, we had a bit of discussion due to the discrepancy uh, with the packs, with the issue with no gold cards. Uh, we did have a player who unfortunately did. Uh, Dan decided to not continue in, uh, in the draft tonight. So instead of watching him, we're going to be watching Sawyer take on uh, Evan C. So, uh, sir, we saw with a uh, many, many... Rakish Cruise and Prickly Pears deck, and Evan, one of the uh, three blue-black drafters, I believe a little more spell-focused uh, here. So uh, what's Evan working with? So Evan's got everything on the field, an island, a phantom interference, a take the fall, unfortunate accident, and a second take the fall. All right, so just, looks like he's allowing this Prickly Pear to resolve here rather than... Uh, killing it. I'm a little surprised. It. I think I might have done phantom interference there. I don't know what else he's hoping to use his mana on this turn. I mean, uh, but maybe yeah. he's expecting a bigger threat later. Sawyer, uh, unsurprisingly, does have a rakish brew in hand. He also has a Hellspur brute, which is going to be very, very cheap. Uh, unscrupulous contractor, a couple lands, and a discerning peddler he's drawn for the turn. So I... I I think his, his intention here is to go Rakish Crew and then play the Hellspur Brute for one, but the Phantom Interference is actually going to counter both of those plays if uh, if Evan does that. So it's it's almost like it's a two-for-one because it means he can't cast the Hellspur Brute now. Yeah, Evan does not want this to resolve. So yeah, it kind of actually countered like him being able to play a, a five-four this turn. So pretty big there. see what what's happening now yeah, so we um he has drawn his hollow marauder which is probably one of the best cards in his deck probably something to search out with the servant all right so it looks like there's gonna be a double potential double block here maybe sawyer just says let me let it through but uh you did say did you have another take the fall or Unfortunate accident. Here. Yes. So uh, he's he's got both of those. So looking to do one of those. I am curious what he's going to search up. Yeah, so many uh, He did draw a peerless rope master. Okay. Looks like he has two of those in the deck. And he is just going to get plan the heist. I mean, so it looks like he's fair. just trying to win with card advantage. Pretty fair. Yeah, so uh, like no normally when I normally when I sack my sword in this thing, I'm going to get like my bomb or whatever, <laughs> but here it's like okay, no no bombs to speak of, but uh, just a bunch of a bunch of good options. Uh, so Sawyer can resolve whatever he wants to this turn. Um, he has the unscrupulous contractor still, the brute that he was unable to cast last turn, peddler, and a Nizumi link breaker drawn for the turn, and a tap land as well. So interesting to see here, like this crab is exactly doing what it's supposed to, like. Evan has dealt no damage here. I mean, he's going to get to deal... Uh, I mean, Sawyer's dealt no damage up to this point, but he will get to deal three here. So Evan did sacrifice the board presence of having a Servant of the Stinger back to block. He did sacrifice that to set up his card advantage here. All right, shoot the Sheriff is a decent draw. I can, uh, I can get rid of this crab. And now Sawyer's just going to dump his hand here. <laughs> So uh, Evan needs a yeah, lot of so things here. <laughs> Evan's got cards incoming, but I don't know that that's going to do much versus a wide board. Yeah, he's. A, I think his deck's probably a bit too slow for this matchup. Yeah, he's a bit under siege here. I do wonder if he has any good sideboarding tech. Because uh, currently we're looking at murder and then a land and four cards that cost four or more mana. Yeah, I mean, you have to kill the 5-4, but uh, after that, it's just like, it's just going to be so much chip damage here from just these little creatures getting in. So, you know, he can he can get rid of the 5-4 cleanly enough, but it's going to be rough here. And I think Sawyer's thinking about just shooting this, this crab. Shoot the sheriff. I mean, he doesn't have to kill it right now. He just can attack past it for a lot of damage. 
Right, it's not like they're crabs threatening him. Sure, he can pump it and kill one, two, two. I, I don't think that really bothers Sawyer right now. Yeah, well, th- th- this, assume... this opens it up to get Desert Dude, though. Mm, also very true. So now That's that this has happened, he said, well, I can Desert do now. So Probably exactly what Sawyer was hoping for. Yeah, so Sawyer figured, you know, pr- pretty logical conclusion that the 5-4 is going to get killed with all that open mana. But, I mean, he still got in for, what was that, like six? Rope Master will be a small setback here. It is uh, it is not shootable, I believe. I believe it's a rogue. So, can't shoot the sheriff on that one. But he just says, I'm just going to dive past it. <laughs> I'm going to get I do fire. wonder if Sawyer will side out to shoot the sheriff in this matchup. I guess it hits a crab just fine. Yeah, Longhorn Sharpshooter finishes that off, and he's got an unscrupulous contractor here. Or shoot the sheriff to find some way to get the win here. Well, he will have to drop one of them. All right. Shoot the sheriff. Marauder also not killable. All right, he's drunk. It's I am surprised. Here, so pretty easy. Evan does have a murder in hand. He could have done instead to just guarantee to take one of these creatures off the board. Alright, so Consuming Ashes, he's looking at, it's actually a decision here whether, I think he wants to surveil, yeah. He says, I want to surveil. I think that's very reasonable in this this situation, because Evan now has to block and lose his Marauder anyway, so this kills two creatures in a way targeting the Marauder would not have. Yeah, and uh, even if Evan finds some way to, 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 to wipe this board... Unscrupulous Contractor can deal the last two damage to Evan if needed, but looks like I don't think... Evan is going to flash in a rooftop assassin here to try and help save him. Uh, And then he's got a murder in an unfortunate accident. Okay. So he will live, assuming Sawyer doesn't have anything. Well, he does have the uh, this Unscrupulous Contractor here. And that can target your opponent. So, uh, uh, look at this. He's giving his opponents cards. Is he crazy? Ah, even gets his minor back. So, uh, yeah, contractor for the last two points of burn here. And, uh, so we're pretty much doing what his deck set out to do. And, you know, no surprise here. He is running all six copies of both Rakish Crew and Prickly Pair. No surprise whatsoever. Ooh, six Rakish Crew is a bit surprising to me. Uh, I'm not that surprised. I feel like you just want two of those every single game. You know. It's true. And he it has, looks like Evan's going to be oh, you know, taking out a plan the heist, putting in more rope masters, taking out brigand, putting in more jailbreak schemes. Yeah, so uh, failed fording, really just trying to lower the curve all he can. Yeah, so Sawyer as uh, one of our most prominent uh, lovers of aggro decks in the in on, on the server here. He he has been he foc- he's focused his curve very low here um, to make sure that he doesn't doesn't get flooded. Uh, he just has his six rakish crew, six prickly pet. Literally, consuming ashes and hellspur brood are the only things above three mana, and hellspur brood is not even going to be <laughs> five mana. So, like, he's left out unfortunate accident. He's left out uh, the hollow marauder. Uh, basically, anything that's expensive, even vault plunder, he's left out. Uh, explosive derailment. So he's gone really focused here on as many, um, as many outlaws and as many, uh, you know, he wants to maximize the some of his cards like Nizumi Linkbreaker. He's playing two, two Forsaken Miners, three Corrupted Conviction, two Outlaws Fury. So he's really zeroed in on a strategy here uh, and and focused in. What's Evan uh, looking Makes at over there? Makes a lot of sense to me. So Evan has taken out a lot of his recursion, his li- mm-hmm. his two lively dirges, a mourner surprise, saying these are just too slow, um, and need and wanting to find more ways to defend early. Um, he's trying to figure out his last card here. He's looking at fleeting reflection, uh, and he's just put back in the second play in the heist. But it seems like he was on a deep 
recursion and card draw game plan looking to just really outvalue his opponents, which is not really viable in this matchup. So a big sideboard from him as I expected. Yeah, so he made a couple of changes. He brought in a second Outlaws Fury. I think just he's seeing, okay, Evan's playing 05s and stuff to block, and I'm just going to go wide and get that extra damage in. So again, make, making use of some cards that didn't really ever get to see their, like, get to see their moments in OTJ Limited, like Link Breaker, Outlaws Fury, Corrupted Conviction. These were, these were very, these were cards like, there were cards that were good in, in older and other formats that we've seen, but just never got their moment to shine. But uh, he's making use of them here for sure. What's uh, Which I think is a very fun thing to do in this sort of event where you wouldn't have... Uh... That opportunity, otherwise. Yeah. So let's. Uh, so let's have been working with this game here. He's got two lands, a lock picker, a plan the heist, a rooftop assassin, and a second plan the heist. I would have thought he'd get rid of a land, but he's going with the rooftop assassin. He he had the three uh, lock pickers, right? I don't know if he's yes. running them all at this time, but yes, he is. Okay, perfect. They seem like a core part of the game plan of just. Draw spell, worker, draw spell. Yeah, that was just, uh, that was one of my favorite uncommons. Um, yeah, Rakish Crew here does get to resolve. And I mean, blue, black, uh, you know, obviously don't have many ways to get this enchantment off the field. So Rakish Crew is going to be here. I think Sawyer's now realizing he just uh, sent one of his creatures off to their doom. Yeah, Sawyer's just, Sawyer, I mean, he likes to attack. He said, well... I got two creatures, I'm attacking both, and then he realized, oops. <laughs> yeah, but there is some chance that his game plan does involve a lot of his creatures dying, so that he doesn't actually mind too much. Yeah. It means Evan's not casting another spell, um, and obviously getting your creature eaten isn't ideal, but when you have six rakish crews, maybe that's the sacrifice you make. Yeah, no, it's absolutely not what he planned, but... Um, that's that's how it goes sometimes. And Sawyer's got quite a quite a poor hand here right now. Three lands and a corrupted conviction. So Evans got time here. Ooh. Evans not under the same pressure as he was in the first game, so he can set up his uh, his card draw here. He can uh, flash back his plan the heists with his lock pickers or whatever else he he needs to do here. Because uh, and boy is he going to! He's got two lock figures in hand, a second plan the heist, take the fall rope master. I mean, he's gonna go to ten. I mean, the lock picker is an integral part of planning a heist, right? It just makes sense. Indeed. It's just, it's one of the most important parts of it. Yeah. So you're seeing this uh, lock picker, and he's saying, "Oh boy." <laughs> He has them to shoot the sheriff for the turn, which can kill this lifelinker, I guess. It is it is not an outlaw. Notably, Coyote also not an outlaw for Rakish crew. Yeah, it's one of the one of the very few creatures in his deck that's that's not an outlaw, but it's just, I think it's, it's just still good one. enough. Yeah, it's so but... Alright. Evan says, uh, I'll get I'll, I'll I'll get my life here and I'll kill your coyote. But the corrupted conviction at least will get a bit of value here. So no life gain, no card draw for Evan. And I'm, so. I'm sure Evan's feeling a little salty about that, but if he knew the hands, I think he'd feel a little better. Well, he can uh, he can heal his wounds by drawing all the cards that he can ever ever do anything with. It's pretty... And that will be another land, a Servant of the Stinger, and a Rictus Robber. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's in good shape here. Another Corrupted Conviction. He does have a Prickly Pair drawn off the uh, Corrupted Conviction, so... He has another corrupt, a shoot, and two lands. We have another take the fall for Evan, so just gonna hit in here. He will have to be careful about the uh, Rakish crew ga gain and drain, but not too careful. I mean, this is exactly what what Evan what Evan wants his deck to do, right? Like draw cards, <clears throat> interact cheaply, and uh, draw more cards, I guess. <laughs> Indeed. And which I think is a valid strategy. I think in the uh, Artisan League, a lot of people found the things that were most effective without rares were any way to card draw, including recursion, a lot of red steins, a lot of recursion spells were big. Um, and then 
all of these late game card draw could actually really shine because the games did tend to stall out. Yeah, I mean, Plan the Heist, I think, was a card that sort of uh, picked up in momentum and popularity towards the back half of the format uh, when people realized, okay, this is something you can do, but your deck just has to be pretty focused around it. So this is where we might see Sawyer come back here. Uh, I mean, his life total is still high. He's at 18. So he's not in an amazing spot, but the two Rakish Screws is going to buy him a lot of time here. We'll see how many more cards Evan uh, is going to try and draw. Well, he's got one more lock picker, one more plan the heist in hand, and two rope masters. So you are talking my language. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So uh, yeah, just just a, a swamp and an outlaw's fury here. All right. Here comes a lock picker. I think he's just going to bounce one of these tokens. Yeah. I mean, that, I mean, normally you're not really that happy to bounce a token, but this is potentially a life drain of two, right, when it dies. So it makes it a lot more appealing. And uh, as the aggro player does, he is uh, not blocking. He says uh, he deals as much damage as you want. And Evan He's now declining the servant trigger because he does have Hollow Marauder on top of the deck. All right, makes sense from the uh, surveil. Mm -hmm. All right, so he does just Outlaw's Fury here to draw a card. Has drawn Forsaken Miner, which is of no help here with uh, Evan attacking him. So And hitting a land on the Exile. We'll see. Absolutely. I was going to say, we'll see how much longer he wants to continue with the game. And as I was about to say that. I think that's a fair call on decided. his part. <laughs> he has decided that, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess without, like, too many crazy swingy cards to come back, the games get decided possibly a little earlier. Yeah. I do think as the aggro deck, when you start getting down on board and life oh, yeah. and cards, you can just, you see the the darkness at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, just uh, too many lands there at the beginning, um, you know, sunk him. All right, he's thinking of bringing in uh, a Raven of Fell Omens, perhaps. Not, not sure what he saw or what he has that made him want to want to bring that in but uh maybe on the play he figures just have another another two drop and one that can get at least a bit of value late in the game and then with four rope masters despite them kind of rotting in hand last turn he also doesn't have his visage bandit or outlaw stitcher in right now okay um, was that was that just for curve he, considerations or, were, or did they not start in at all uh, I believe they started in. Okay, I think they were sense. taken out in an effort to lower the curve. Yeah, makes perfect sense. One thing, I, I mean, I know I said before Sawyer wants to keep his curve low. I'm surprised he's not running the Hollow Marauder because he has so many cheap creatures that are just literally there to be traded off. I'm surprised he doesn't doesn't want the Hollow Marauder, but... <coughs> he's brought in... Uh, yeah, so far the change is bringing a Raven... And take out a corrupted conviction so far. And he's also bringing an unfortunate accident and deciding what else to cut here. And it might be a couple. Evan has brought back in his lively dirges and his mourner surprise, um, saying he thinks this game is going to go a little longer, I guess, going second. I mean, lively dirge bringing back two servant of the stingers. I mean, that, that sounds like. They're two blood seekers. <laughs> that sounds like good magic to me. Yes. Okay, he's taking out some rope masters or thinking about it. Um, he's a little light on three. He only has lock pickers. Hmm. Um, I mean, he has some of his uh, interaction, some of his cheaper interaction that he can cast on turn three if he needs. All right. Not an, not an amazing hand for Sawyer, but very functional here. Uh, Nizumi Link Breaker, Corrupted Conviction. Outlaw's Fury and shoot the sheriff along with lands. What's uh, what's Evan got over there? Sounds like a good keep. We've got this Mirage Mesa, two swamps, take the fall, rope master, consuming ashes, Marauder, and a second take the fall. So nothing oh, early. Slow, yeah. Can't say it's my favorite keep going second against Sawyer. That's very slow. Knowing how fast Sawyer's deck can be from game one. Yeah, no three drop here to uh, to continue the curve out. He did draw the dead dead eye duelist. Uh, last turn, for it to be a uh, to be his two drop, and he 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 said, "I'm just going to nullify this." 
I don't want again. him to draw a card. I'm getting a 1-1. One, one. I'm drawing two cards. No thanks. I do believe Evan should have targeted the duelist there, knowing that we saw Sawyer play the Corrupted Conviction last game I mean, that and had the same interaction of it getting sacked in response, and you'd much rather him sack the duelist, I think. I mean, that was like a one-mana cryptic command. <laughs> Counter your spell, <laughs> make a creature, draw two cards. Like, what? What happened? <laughs> like he didn't lose his creature he upgraded <laughs> like mm -hmm. like this this token is better than a 1-1 link breaker <laughs> so he actually upgraded his creature this time the the take the fall is gonna go through here but uh sawyer's drawn uh you know one of his trademark three drops here with the prickly pair the other being the rakish crew that he has uh, many many copies of and uh evan really needs to to do something here, or else he's just going to get swamped with all this damage. So, what are his uh, options here? Other than taking fire. So, he's going to flash in the assassin. He still has Rope Master, Ashes, Marauder, Land, and Bloodseeker. So, yeah, this so... is going to be a great spot for Outlaw's Fury here. Oh, oh. Drawing another Outlaw's Fury. Uh, can you cast until the end of your next turn? I believe so, right? That is my understanding. Oh boy. Yes. <laughs> okay, Just well, an absolute this, this wreck be, of a card. This game might be uh, done on the spot here. Okay, Rope Master does stop this uh, a little bit. So he can block the duelist safely enough. Um, He's deciding if he just wants still to Still looking very tough. Here. I mean, that was about as good as uh, of a comeback as you could get, which i uh, Putting a fall for that deals with one of the creatures. Agreed. But he's still under siege here. I'm gonna do a main phase fury here. Unfortunately, he does not have the land to murder this right now. He just has a shoot the sheriff, which he can't make use of. Evan but, going for the block, which I agree with. Yeah, anything. Obviously, Evan sees anything he plays is is liable to get murdered. So. Needs to so he's, it looks story. like he's going to Blood Hustler plus Blood Seeker. Okay. And at the very least, the Duelist wasn't able to attack, but it can still do, do damage here. So the Deadeye Duelist mm -hmm. did not get completely walled off last turn, despite not being able to attack. Milling the opponent to trigger the Blood Hustler. So Sawyer, I think instead of the ping, he just wants to maybe be mana efficient, kill the Lifelinker. He's thinking about it yeah okay so he said you know he was planning to to ping but he said i'd rather just uh just kill this life linker i think that's probably correct knowing he's got the murder incoming just clear the board yeah so now his hand is two longhorn sharpshooters so that's an extra oh no extra four damage here coming so unless evan gains life uh he's Kind of just he, dead. He dude. does have a second blood seeker. He's kind of dead to non combat damage. Oh, okay. Well, second. Right. Okay, this will this will dump one of the, the sharpshooters, so that's nice. Huge. Okay, so he's gonna play a blood seeker, and then he has consuming ashes and lively dirge in hand. And so he can trade off the blood seeker and then get it back. And despite the fact that you almost always plot your longhorn sharpshooter, um, it is still a three mana card, so it gave Evan a card draw from the, the Hollow Marauder. Oh, a good point. Yeah, like you don't think of it as a three drop because you never play it on turn three, nor can you plot it on turn three. But uh, yeah, it does it does its job here. So Evan can what? He can lively dirge here and bring back. And he's drawn a mourner surprise for turn. Okay, so it's gonna be which he has snapped. Played. It's going to be a little harder than uh, than it might have looked like to. Uh, yeah, there is a non-zero chance that Evan uh, actually stabilizes here on one. He's able to cast his Marauder for one. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, just a landed hand for Sawyer, so he didn't lose uh, anything important, but. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is going to be closer than it might have looked like. And now he draws a coyote, so maybe maybe it isn't as. Oh close. no! <laughs> See, it oh is. no! So now this is. Uh, and then no, an unfortunate accident. So he can make a token blocker. 
I mean, if he wants to attack with the uh, sharpshooter, he has to target that, right? He's thinking about targeting something else, but I don't see how that could help him. All right, so, uh, well, here's some damage you weren't expecting. <laughs> Trade off the Marauder and oh, he said he has unfortunate accent. Yeah, this is the uh, the the <laughs> rarely rarely used, the very option. rarely seen. But I really like it because now Sawyer is out of cards and Evan can on his turn lively dirge back two 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 life linkers. Yeah, this... and he's also drawn a rooftop assassin for turn. Yeah, there's a lot of life gain coming. Sawyer needs something. He is tempted to pass turn here and just flash in Rooftop Assassin. Yeah. I don't hate it. It also leaves him open to consuming ashes if another coyote comes down I, or something. I hope... I, I'm thinking Sawyer is uh, absurd enough to, to know that... I would hope. Rooftop Assassin here, but he, there's already one in the graveyard, so he's maybe not thinking that there's that there are two in the deck. It's true. What did he draw for turn? It was just a mountain. So looks like okay. he's going to do no attacks here. Yeah. I mean, he is objectively attacking. correct to do so. I mean, he could have uh, pumped the uh, the duelist, the duelist but and then I think Evan would have consuming ashes it in response. And he may just do that anyway, just to remove the blocker. And he's going to remove the blocker yeah. and a source of damage. So and uh, now he gets in for the lifelink damage. Yeah, this because this, that had reach. It was looking grim at first with uh, Sawyer getting. And would that you believe we see plan the heist on top of the deck? Oh, well, why not? This, he might be planning uh, how to heist this game away from. Uh, Seemingly a winning spot to potentially Evan coming back here, but uh, wow, okay. Peerless Roadmaster, I an mean, excellent uh, play. I mean, I, I was sort of, uh, you know, I was sort of trash talking this card when we were looking at the at the pools, but uh, it's performed nicely here. It, it lines up well against the army of tokens that that Sawyer's that Sawyer's making here. I certainly was a doubter on four of them, but. When you think about it, bouncing the tokens is the safest thing to do against six rakish crews. Was he, was he playing all four? No. He he. The original build only had two, two I believe, but he sided into all four, yeah. which I was shocked by given the five mana cost. But I am being proven quite wrong here. Yeah, and so I was thinking, like, uh, what is it that I can do exactly? <laughs> yeah. Evans debating between playing the heist and lively dirge. He's thinking he's going to go ahead and dirge. He was checking what was left in his deck if he needed to bother to put something there. It's not like he can draw he's a decided... in the game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's looking at his deck. He's putting a swamp in the graveyard to thin the deck? Question mark? Must be, yeah. And he's getting lock picker. To then Mourner Surprise. All right. Okay. Interesting. More blockers. Could've... Getting now we get Marauder. All right. So I was, get, so I was gonna <laughs> say he, he, he could have just, just got two creatures back into play, but now he can get two creatures into play and an even better one in hand. So and his best creature and make Sawyer discard a card. You know, I did not end up playing blue black that much, and when I did, it usually wasn't a Mourner Surprise deck. But lock picker Mourner Surprise is uh, is a delight. Of a combination. Absolutely excellent. Yeah, most of the blue black decks I played were more crime decks, so stuff like well, most stuff like blue black Surprise, decks would have Lazav and yeah. and the campaign, oh, which wow. this <laughs> this deck could not have. Yeah. I think campaign would really change the blue black decks in this. Yeah, uh, draft. obviously, yeah, Heavily. we know about that. But uh, mm -hmm. it's just like something like Mortar Surprise doesn't commit a crime and it doesn't interact with opponent, so it's kind of like yeah. a card that gets. It got cut from a lot of blue black decks. Uh, just right, you, you really only so think better. about it for your your green value deck. Like I don't like I played blue black a bunch of times. I don't think I ever had lock picker and uh, Mourner surprise in the same deck. But uh, uh, Evan does come mm -hmm. back here from a, a, a pretty blazing start from Sawyer. But uh, Evan did come back mm -hmm. the rope masters and some life gain got him the win here. So congratulations to Evan, and we'll be following him in round two coming up in a little bit.